How you found the start to the season? Uh, sweet. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, the energy levels in the group, they're good. Uh, obviously, we had a good, no, a bad start uh, in Europe, but um, but after everything that has happened, I feel like we managed to turn it around, turn the energy around, got the fans back on our side, uh, and uh, yeah. I feel like the energy level is there, and um, not all happy days, but like we're on the route to something, something good. I think. You talk about that energy since the managers come in. Obviously, yeah. results have improved. Is that the main thing he's changed? That the, the energy brought energy back to the squad. Have there been other things as well? Uh, I think you can like. I think all clubs when they change a massive part, like as a as we change the manager and we uh, we brought in new players not after the manager but like in general and some someone's going in someone's going out i think just that just changes the dynamic and sometimes that's what you need and just change up something i guess and uh um for us that happened to be um like obviously we got the win the first day after um the new manager came in so that that gave us some energy as well but i think like in general if you change something big if it's in a workplace or in a football club or I don't know if you get a kid or something <laughs> when something changes it brings energy and it brings something new so um, I just think that happens everywhere like uh, not necessarily anything to do with our old manager or our new one it's just we needed something different and some new input and some new energy and I think we we got that and we responded well as a group in the first game uh, a looking football match, but it's uh, we won it, and I think that just generates uh, like positivity. And yeah, we got the fans where we wanted them after the first game. So yeah, I I guess that happens everywhere. It sounds like the squad's in a good place. What is the atmosphere like? What's the belief like? Obviously, we're still early in the season, but you're quite high in the league. You've got the league cup coming up tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, it's um, the groups. Group sound. To be fair, it's always been sound. We, uh, even though we had uh, the, the worst run ever last uh, season, uh, the atmosphere in the group has been good. We're a good group of guys, uh, and we know we can beat anyone, or at least take points from anyone if we play at like at the level we should. Um, people were over hyping Aberdeen before the season, you know, like the best Aberdeen team ever. And we looked at them and we, th we thought, what? Well, there's no reason why we can't punish them. They leave space here and there. And we went up there and we've done exactly that. And that things like that, that gives us energy. It gives us a uh, bit of um, the belief that, oh, we're on to something. We're actually decent players. Uh, and uh, some of us can even call ourselves good sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, so we're, uh, um, no, stuff like that just gives us the belief we need, don't it? Yeah. And for the rest of the season, what is the belief that you can get European football again with the cup come up? Is there a yeah. you, can, you can reach hand in? You can yeah, of course. Work? When we look at the teams um, and we play the teams, we're like, well, why, why didn't we win this game? Like uh, Kilmarnock, when we look at the video, like, we, there's so much space here. There's so much things we could have done differently, easy things we could have done differently, to punish them harder, to not concede the goals that we've done, and and uh, the gaffers uh, highlighted many of those things to us. And um, I think, like when you look at it, obviously in retrospect, it's like, oh, how do we lose this? But uh, I think every team thinks that. But when we actually look at it, it's so much we can do better. And uh, we have the ability, we've shown it already this season, so it's just to reproduce that. It's been a poor start to the season from Inverness, do you think this is the perfect time to, to bounce back after the defeat of the weekend? Yeah, I think uh, every game is a good way, uh, a good chance to prove what we're, what we're all about. And uh, of course, it's nice when the opportunity comes just a couple of days after a, a tough loss. Um, it's, a good, it's a good way to yeah, show the fans that we're here to compete this year. Uh, this season is like up for grabs, I think. So uh, just a couple of games in the cup to uh, to get to Hampton, isn't it? So we have to just grab it by both hands and 
yeah, take the opportunity. Have you seen much of Inverness? Do you know what to expect from them? Uh, no, I haven't seen anything. Uh, we're, uh, we had a day off on um, uh, on Sunday, and yesterday we did an analysis of uh, the Kilmarnock game um, to see what we could improve, like in a general play. And we'll I'll head straight down to the to the office now and watch some analysis of uh, Everness. You mentioned Hamden there. Is that the target then? Is that something you've discussed? You yeah, of course. Play? As a foreigner, um, I think the Scottish guys here probably know what it's all about but as a foreigner I've just seen it um, like in clips and stuff so it looks unreal so uh, it would be, uh, be a highlight of my career so far to play a big game at a big stadium uh, in front of a big crowd obviously but I haven't really thought about it in my mind it's just uh, on Inverness tomorrow so uh, we'll take whatever uh, we'll take what we can from that game and uh, we still have lots of games uh, after that. So, um, but when that day comes, and it will come, uh, I'll look forward to it.